It has a 4A GE black top engine swap. It has upgraded 12 to 1 pistons, Toyota cams, Toyota cam gears, individual throttle bodies, a header back exhaust, stock injectors, an upgraded fuel pump, and we're going to be tuning it on 93 octane. Now, in addition to this, we have an AM X series wideband that's been installed and wired into our Holtec Elite 750. We're going to be using that for air fuel monitoring purposes, as well as taking a look at our closed loop O2 control. Without further wait, let's jump into this video so we can learn how to create our base calibration file and begin our live training session. Okay, so let's jump into our live training video here, tuning our Toyota AE86 with a 4A GE 20 valve blacktop engine. Now, we went over the list of modifications that have been done, so let's jump into creating our base map so we can get this training session started. So, jumping into our Haltech ESP software here, the first thing we're going to do is jump up into File, into New. I'm going to be creating a brand new base calibration file for this car. Now, it does start and run with a base map that's in the ECU already, but I'm going to be ignoring that and showing you this process of what you can expect starting from scratch if you're creating a base map for your vehicle. Um, most likely, if you have a supported application from Haltech, so if you're using something like an Evo or a Supra with a 2JZ, you're going to be finding you already have a base calibration file that you can just simply load in. We can kind of skip this step, but it's always a good idea to see starting off scratch and what you can expect if you get into the situation where you're going to be forced to go in and create a custom file for your vehicle. So um, looking at this uh, under new map, we're going to be selecting Elite 750. We're using an Elite 750 ECU, so choose the ECU type that you're going to be using. And we're going to be making sure that we select the file type here, the version that's going to be the firmware version that we're running on our Elite box. Now I have the latest firmware, so I'm going to be selecting here 2.31.0. We can see that if we have an older firmware loaded, we're able to grab a older style base calibration file. Um, I would recommend that you do a firmware flash first, then go in and create a new map um, based on that firmware that you're using. And you always want to be on the latest firmware. That way you have all the latest software features and developments and fixes that, that Haltech has released. So um, we're good here. So I've selected this. We're selected on the version type. Let's click OK. And we're going to give it a second here to populate the base calibration file. Now this base map, that's going to be opened up here is completely generic it is not going to run this engine so i could load this into my Haltech and i could crank away all day but it's not going to start it's not going to recognize the cam and crank sensor pattern or a lot of the other input and outputs uh, details such as maybe my map sensor or my throttle position sensor or any of my scalings for my coolant temperature or my air temperature any of that kind of data or information it's not going to know so it's not going to know what to do with my engine i'm trying to control it with so let's jump in here and go to the basics and I'm going to walk you through what you need to program and I have uh, some inputs and outputs that I've marked down that have been wired into the leads. That's the other thing that you're going to need if you're doing a custom base calibration file here. You need to know where your inputs and outputs are going. If you're not sure of it, um, if we jump up here, we're going to be going into our main setup anyway. The view IO report, um, it's going to allow you to see what's been populated, what's not been populated. We can see here if we're kind of going down some of the information such as our throttle position, air temp, coolant temp, Holtec is going to be telling you to wire those into these particular AVI inputs. These are going to be probably uh, found across any application you're using with an Elite 